Topic 8, Lesson 3, Multiplying Two-Digit Numbers by Multiples of 10. The objective for today is, I will use grids and patterns to multiply two-digit numbers by multiples of 10. Go ahead and write this problem down in your notes. In January, Tate's aquarium had 23 guppies. A year later, he had 90 times as many guppies. How many guppies does Tate have? We're going to make sure we go ahead and start with cubing our problem. So I start by circling my numbers. I have a 23 and 90. Underlining the question, I always look to the last sentence, because typically where you're going to find your question. How many guppies does Tate have? Box in all my important words. Tate's aquarium had 23 guppies. A year later, he had 90 times as many guppies. Okay, so I know that guppies is going to be my label when I'm all done. Eliminate any information I don't need. Okay, I don't really need to know that it was a year later. And I don't know, don't need to know that it was Tate's Aquarium. Okay, so the problem I'm going to be solving today is going to be 23 times 90. Notice that 90 is a multiple of 10. 10 times 9 gives me 90. Today we're going to be using a box diagram and also talking about multiples of 10 rules that we can use to solve this to make things a little easier and show a little less work. Your box diagram for this problem will look like this. We know how to multiply with multiples of 10 because we've already worked on that in the past unit. So I'm going to start with my first box right here. I have a 90 times my 20. Remember that my original problem was 90 times 23. So 23 was broken apart into 20 and 3 to give me these two numbers right here. Okay, so I have 90 times 20. I'm just going to look at my 9 and my 2. 9 times 2 gives me 18. So we've got 18 right here. There are still two zeros left over in my factors. So I make sure I add those two zeros to the end, giving me 1,800 right here. Move to the next box. I've got my 3 and my 90. Again, I do my 9 times my 3. 9 times 3 gives me 27, which is how I have this. I have one zero left over right here in my factor. So I make sure I add that on, giving me 270. Both of these numbers right here are, again, partial products. With partial products, it's always important to remember to add to find out my final answer. So I'm going to add 18, 1,800 and 270 to give me 2,070. There is another way to solve this problem, which is why we have our multiples of 10 rules. Then the next slide, you need to write down all of these rules to make sure that you remember. Our multiples of 10 rules. Our example problem we have is 90 times 23, which is the problem we just solved on the previous slide. If you did not already include your box diagram, go ahead and make sure you go back and include that as well. The other way to solve this is using our multiples of 10 rules. So I have 90 times 23. Multiply the non-zero factors. So I can set up a simple problem of 23 times 9. We've already worked on how to solve this. We know we can use our expanded algorithm, and we can also just use our standard algorithm. I'm going to use our standard right now. 9 times 3 gives me 27, so I write my 7 here, and I carry my 2 over here. 9 times 2 gives me 18, but I must remember to add the 2 that's up here. So 18 plus 2 gives me 20. So my answer for 23 times 9 is 207. So 207 is right here for my answer. But I'm not done yet because it wasn't just 9 in my original problem. It was a 90. So I have to remember my place value. Add the same number of zeros in the factors to your product. So there's one zero left over in my factors. Remember, factors are the two numbers you're actually multiplying together in the multiplication problem. So I have one zero up there in my original problem in my factor. So I need to add my one zero onto the end. So I have my 207 from my problem right here, and I need to remember to add that. Because I add that, it makes it a whole new number at the new place value, so 2070. I make sure I put my comma, and I have my final answer. My final answer should be 2070 guppies to make sure that I label everything, because it is a word problem, and those numbers have meaning. In your notes, we're going to try this next one. 65 times 20. So this is the problem I'm starting with, but I go ahead and look at that, and I could solve it using expanded algorithm, but I want to make my life easier, and I'm just going to put 2. But I'm going to write 
65 times 20 over here to make sure I remember my original problem. So I'm going to do my 2 times my 5 giving me 10. I carry my 1. 2 times 6 gives me 12, making sure I add my 1 back in, giving me 13. Okay, so I have 130, but I'm not done because, again, I just did my times 2, but really it was times 20. So I have my 0 over here in my factor. So I have one zero that needs to be added on. So I end up with 1,300 as my final answer. Okay. The next two I want you to do for your on your own in your notes. 21 times 30, which remember you can set up as 21 times 3 and add your zero. And 27 times 60. Again, remembering you can set up as 27 times 6. But in your final answer, you must remember to add those zeros back in by putting them on the end. When you put them onto the end, you're making sure your place value is actually what it should be. Always make sure that your answers are reasonable when you double check with the original problem. Go ahead and solve those in your notes and you are done.